The Entebbe Zoo is a glimpse of the species of wildlife found in Uganda's national parks. It's the first attraction for arriving tourists through the Entebbe International Airport, just a 10-minute drive away. The center has registered a remarkable improvement in tourist arrivals after the COVID-19 pandemic. These exhibits are also named after the different protected areas. So you'll find Chidepo, you'll find Lake Mboro, Queen Elizabeth. And these particular exhibits also have the kind of species you would find when you visit those national parks. So somebody gets a proper feel of what lies in this beautiful country called Uganda. The center also has endangered animals rescued from captivity or the wild. Visitors can learn about the plight of these animals. Visitor numbers to this zoo increased by 27% in 2023 compared to the previous year. The center has some of the unique animals that do not exist in Uganda's national parks. Authorities say this is what attracts many tourists to this place. The tourism ministry says the improvement in both visitor numbers and revenues shows efforts to revive the economy to pre-pandemic levels. The country expects to increase annual tourism revenue to about 1.9 billion US dollars from 1.4 billion US dollars during the pre-pandemic period. The number of tourists arriving by air shot up by 37% this year compared to 2022. The biggest number of users of our facilities are tourists. Even someone who comes in to attend a conference, eventually the bulk of them end up being tourists because they visit tour attraction areas and they spend money in tourism sites. So the more passengers that we have, it is good for our tourism industry, but it also means that the economy, it's a, it contributes to the economy. Tour agents are due the travel advisories issued due to security alerts place a negative image on the country and affect visitor numbers. They also want the government to increase their efforts to market the country abroad if they are to realize better returns in the sector.